Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 for a spot of Nazvan. Yes, my favourite of motorsports. We have got Ford Transits fitted with V8 engines, about 660 odd horsepower running in these. They are race tired. They have got some aero parts. We're going to go for a 10 lap race around the new oval in the lego expansion because of course as soon as i, mean, I love oval racing i'm a big fan of oval racing and as soon as there is an option for some oval racing naturally i want to take some transits around here it was very good fun when we got this working on forza 7 so makes sense to give it a try now, i've tried to build these ones to kind of be like a four speed just about just just about right they kind of work um, now this is an interesting oval actually it's very steeply banked in a lot of places uh, turn one is not flat out in these vans a few vehicles can they have to be insanely high grip and probably not going too fast 160 hypercars might be able to take it transits won't so you are going to have to be uh, very careful with how you run through here, especially if you're running two and sometimes even three wide. If you brush the wall, you're going to lose a lot of speed. Bump drafting is possible in places. Oh, we're going to be on the outside of the three wide. I think I've got a better run through all of this. Yes, we do. In fact, can I get ahead of Ninetales' van? I think I can. Uh, we'll get connected to the back of Blakey and give a push around this final corner. And uh, this particular turn here, oh, there's a big slide up ahead from one of the white transits there. That is not where you want to have a big slide. Uh, <laughs> so so this first corner is very much a, you're going to have to have a lift, a little go on the brakes uh, down here. Uh, the final corner, final corner, second corner, whatever you want to call it. Oh, Blakey got a really good run. Blakey got a really good run up top, but has absolutely nowhere to go. Is with three wide. We're all just stacking up the middle of the circuit there. Uh, this particular corner here is flat. About 90% of the time. 10% of the time, for some inexplicable reason, you just run out of grip. I think if you're on a slightly wrong line, the way the banking falls away on the exit this corner, you just get suckered up into the wall and lose all your speed as you brush uh, past the kind of Lego. So, yeah, you've got to be mindful around this track. I've actually had a pretty good race. I'm up to 7th uh, already from what was a relatively poor grid, uh, second last on the grid. I'm trying to get a good exit down from all of this. Blakey's actually looking to come and get <laughs> underneath. We will shut down uh, that move if we can uh, oh there is a, a sky van up in the wall through here I think we are still yeah not got anyone underneath going around the outside is very difficult in these even with a bit of help you need a lot of help to get around the outside of somebody uh, you are more likely to get a pass if someone brushes the wall or get a pass down in towards this first corner uh, from either outbreaking or just generally driving through here quicker uh, oh there's a big dive from one of the trucks to the inside <laughs> through there. That's actually kind of helped me out of the corner. Uh, I could do with so I could do with some more help. There's going to be a gap down here. I think Chris has left a, left a gap without realising it. I will say thank you for that one. It'll put me up into a sixth position. Can I do anything about catching this lead group though? That is the question here. Uh, we've gone for a, a, ten, a ten lap race. So a fairly, you know, fairly quick little bit. Sometimes if you get stuck out of the draft, you can be in for a rough time with this. You can just be in stuck with cycling around. This has kind of devolved into uh, two packs of, uh, of vads. I think I beansed up that one. I think I lost all of my speed on the exit. Uh, yeah, I hate being on the... Uh, I say I hate being on the real inside. Through. If you get it wrong, you just lose all of your speed. And I got it wrong and lost, well, funnily enough, all of the momentum but if I leave the door wide open down there someone is going to fire their van up the inside we have very much got uh, top five battling for position and <laughs> the rest battling for position I think it's going to get hectic before the end of this uh, we're going to run in actually running with a lot of speed kind of well I mean running with a lot of speed washed up the circuit actually got out okay all well, that night else is going to start making some moves I suspect <laughs> or going to be giving some assistance. Yeah, we're not quite getting any assistance down the straights. It's not quite got to that stage. They're too wide. Now, we can pick up any of the pieces if things go slightly wrong here. I mean, we can maybe, possibly pick up some pieces if things go wrong for that lead group. No one's no one's, be, no one's fallen foul to the bump on the exit of that uh, corner. We're going to have to do the same thing we did last time around, which is, I hate, I say I hate, uh, washing up the circuit a little bit like this. You kind of stop... We've actually caught the lead pack a tiny bit. I've got a bit, got a bit further away there. Um, 
yeah, you can kind of defend. You sort of cover. No one's really going to have a dive up there because it's such a small breaking zone, and you end up blocking any moves to some to some from. Ah, you block any moves from anyone who is exiting up high uh, through there. Oh, Blakey's going to be in the wall. Blakey got that. Hit the bump. Just lost all of the grip. Blakey. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd rather have Blakey trying to get past me than Nine Tails. Oh, no. That's not what we want to see. I was a little too late on the brakes through there. Longbow's very high up against the wall. Uh, my turn to join in with that going against. We've still got an okay amount of speed through all of that. I'm not actually in a very good lap. We were <laughs> practice. We were running in the low, very low 35s, like 35 ones. Uh, so I'm not sure. I mean, that line is working for defending. I'm not sure it's working for outright pace. We're going to have to have one more lap of defending. Can we get Longbow before the end? I see a shadow moving around. As Ninetales looks to the outside. Won't get anything there. It's not quite... Are these variants, it will make a difference sitting in the draft. Although I'm still getting a little bit of a draft. Sort of a distant draft off of uh, off of Longbow. We've done a very consistent sort of run through there. Uh, Ninetales has got a better exit. Can, <laughs> can Ninetales find anything? To be fair, from 11th up till up to 6th, I'm not too displeased with that. Uh, Longbow is... I think Longdo's almost dropped off the tail of the group ahead, who have now run a little further away. We, will, we won't be able to pass. We won't have the time to do it, sadly. Oh, Ninetales has either been moved or understeered out of that corner. There's <laughs> some banging of doors behind. And... We will take a... Oh, we got given a fifth. That's Forza forgetting how to do finish lines. Um, we were... It was sixth for us behind, behind Longbow. You also get a lot of money doing oval racing here because it's... Like distance is long for what is a fairly fairly short race. Not a bad, not a bad first round. Not a bad first round at all for me. Now, of course, we couldn't just test these solely on ovals. No, we are going to take them around a circuit. Now, the tracks at the race venue on the Lego Island are actually some pretty fun, you know, venues to go racing with. So uh, these transits should put on a show, they're not going to be the easiest of vehicles to drive <laughs> much. Is for sure. They're not terrible uh, because, well, they're on race tyres, they've got full weight reduction, they've got the aero parts and all that. So, yeah, they aren't terrible vehicles to drive, but they're still vans at the end of the day. They're not like the Forza Edition Transit that's got crazy, cra crazy levels of grip. Can we have a look? Oh, there's a lot of understeery vans at that corner. I actually downshifted one too many through there. There's a lot of understeery vans through all of that. Uh, we have made it through the opening section as we've all left the ghost mode. Oh, we're about to get a little bit of an assistance. I think there was about three vans having an assistance on the inside. One of them <laughs> missed a checkpoint. They may well have had some assistance from behind as well, to be honest, in this one. Uh, can we... Nope. <laughs> Can we dug underneath anything? Nope, we're just going to get a huge amount of the old understeer. That, you cannot carry as much speed as I was hoping to there. The Black Transit is having a look around the outside. I think it's going to, it was looking at trying to get underneath, but again, you just end up with all of that understeer. Oh, there is either a brush on the wall or something slow for Chris. We'll try go around the outside. Sure, there was some brushings on the inside of the... Uh, banking, what was the thing? Apron, there we go. Yeah, you don't want to hit that with the transit, that much is for sure, and everybody's taking <laughs> exactly the same line through there. I don't actually think anyone hit the wall. Uh, they definitely hit the wall up there. The explosion of Lego bricks gave away that they very much hit the wall through. That's a really horrible corner there to get right. Uh, we're up to fourth. Oh, there's a lot of vans lining up behind us, though. I mean, it's, if there's a big group of vans, they fight each other rather than solely focusing on fighting me which is something. Uh, however, I've got a crap ton of understeer through all... I say crap ton of understeer. I was kind of hoping to lean on that banking a little bit more. Uh, we're going <laughs> to... I mean, that, that was perfectly legitimate defending techniques I went for there. Oh, that was, I mean, not clever defending. Uh, not really defending techniques there. I just ran wide and lifted the back of the van up on the, uh, on the wall. Uh, now, let's keep running along the bottom here. Oh, no, there's, oh, there's got too much speed on the outside. Got too much speed going down the start-finish track. We're about to get mugged. I have a horrible feeling into this braking zone. 
Yeah, I, <laughs> it was a, if I don't turn in, I'm going to hit the side of the green van. If I do turn in, I'm going to hit the van on the inside, who is going gonna to just have to yield out of that one. Unfortunately, three wide will not fit into such a narrow checkpoint, and I've got a big old twitch on the bump. Still looking. Oh, there's another one. We're back to going three wide again. Transits are good. But I think, I think I'm just not very good at this track. I really struggle when we race the minis in a one-make race around here, and now we're driving the transits in a one-make race. I'm still struggling. I just don't think... It's a cool track. I actually like the layout. I just think I'm very fast around here. Oh, I actually didn't realise I was connected to the... Uh, I say the light green truck, the very offensively green vehicle ahead of us. Now, we actually do have a good run down towards this first corner. Now, it will be flat when you're running around at this sort of a race around there. Scotty's going to get that on the outside. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. I'm going to go and defend from Nine Tails. Oh! I didn't quite realise I was alongside on that one. We did get quite squeezed. The, th the thing is, like with the, with the squeezing down there, is that I've got to make the checkpoint. So I have got to make it to the inside um, to actually get through the through the checkpoint. There's some slipping and sliding going on behind us in all of that. Look, I mean, at the front, it's kind of been a little bit status quo for a while up there. They've not really had all that much... Uh, yeah, change position. I'm throwing all sorts of different lines through there. Still not sure what the best way through that corner is. Um, it, it looks banked. You really can't just throw the vehicle on the banking as much as you might expect, or as much as you might hope even, through there. So you've got to so you've got to try. I am trying some different things. See if I can make up any sort of speed. Now, as we head on to our final time around, I've butchered the banking corner once again. They're three wide behind us. I'd say... Nasvan circuit racing has its appeals. I'd say it's not a it's not a not a fail. I mean, not the best driven one by me. That's not so much the fault of the vans. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, apparently over racing. I can move forward. Circuit racing, we go a little bit backwards. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of understeer through there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I like this track. I just cannot seem to, for the life of me, get any speed out of it. There's a battle going on for the leaders. They are side by side in this uh, long semi-banked corner we can get an okay run out of this it won't I say it won't matter uh, we are too far back we've actually had a fairly decent end to this lap now but we're not going to be close enough to have a look for a pass I believe by the looks of it Glisk has taken victory from Ollie we will by three tenths per second as well we will have to settle for it's a second sixth place some consistency in my sixth positioning um, <laughs> time wise uh, yeah, they're pretty close nine tails the fastest uh, three tenths up the road from me, but we we were all within three tenths. The top six were within three tenths of a second of one another. That's some um, that's some consistency for you. Now we are headed back to the oval for another a try. Now we're going to attempt uh, something that's had a checkered past in the history of certainly us doing events on Forza games. Yes, we're going to be trying a manual, well, manually controlled rolling starts. Uh, I'm in the middle of the pack, which is probably one of the less good places to be in all of this. Uh, it's kind of uh, <laughs> likely to... It's the sort of place that is likely to get busy in, in, well, in, in any instance, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a busy place um, around here. If something goes wrong, we will of course uh, directly be impacted, and now this does mean we get to go out of ghost mode, so we will be in 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 full proper proper racing uh, for the start of this. We've got around last time we, we tried this in testing to see how it went, and as we came down the back straight, someone lagged out and took and as their car speared off the track as they were lagging out, they crashed somebody off. More often than not, we have crashes on manually controlled rolling starts. I mean, we should be able to manage 12 vans on an oval. But you never know, and Forza does like to test us as well sometimes. It's not always all our fault here. Uh, <laughs> Forza does like to give us a good old test. Just see the very bright green uh, going on behind us. So the way it'll work is once the leader uh, crosses the line, uh, they will go, we'll all be kind of released as the leader accelerates away from having crossed the line. Uh, we have got everybody... Everybody stacked up. It's either going to be brilliant or it's going to be terrible. I'm not sure which. Often that's how the best ideas begin. But here we go. The vans are ready. We are off. <laughs> and 
underway. Galicia gets a good start, but that does mean they're going to have to go to the outside around turn... Oh, I might be joining them around turn one. It's it kind of worked for me, and then Longbow got a much better exit in the very... the most Scottish of transits you could possibly ask for. Uh, we're going to get stuck up high, aren't we? And we will have, of course, well, we'll have no support. Uh, if anything, Longbow wants to push uh, Ollie forward. Yeah, I cannot do anything here. I've got to be careful I don't get uh, slid up into the wall. We actually did a decent run off of the corner. There was a millimetre or two to spare there. Oh, there's an offensive green truck getting to the bottom. Uh, that's always going to make matters interesting through turn one. They're still side by side. This has got this has got the run on the outside there and has got some very very good speed in that. Wow, the pack behind has got very hectic and I've run away. Uh, <laughs> I think I picked the right time to bugger off from that little group of uh, of, of vans. Could we sneak our way up into a podium spot? That's that's going to be the question. It might have already, I say it might have already, it might have descended into two packs of vehicles battling. I don't know if they can recover from that far back. Uh, that, that group just got too busy into the first corner. Glisk is up towards, Glisk is up high, but I think you can actually get some pretty good speed running up high on that circuit. Uh, Chris managed to hit the wall and got away, somehow got off of that wall in one piece. If I had enough momentum, I would try and push uh, Ollie's van forward on that outside line as it is. I don't think it's quite going to work. Now, I, sh I should say, we're all driving on controller here. Um, it is quite difficult to do smooth movements on the banking. Uh, so, there's <laughs> sometimes a little bit of unintentional twitching around. I don't know who I want to help. I think I helped both equally through that. If anything, we'll give Ollie a little bit of help down here. Uh, it's kind of what's going to be needed. I'm going to see if we can get underneath the pair of them. Um, not really. Yeah, I'm not sure what line I want to go in. <laughs> I mean, this is... Look, I understand. Not everyone likes oval racing. I get it. Um, I do like oval racing because when you get good oval racing, you are literally battling side by side, lap after lap after lap. And, well, this is so far working kind of as I'd hoped. Um, oh, we've got, a, we've got a really good run through the middle of this corner and I will have nowhere to go and we are just going to push. We will just go for the bump draft all the way down the start-finish straight. Uh, now... We're going to try and carry speed on the outside. I think I think we've managed to push Ollie past on the outside. Can I get the toe? In fact, we've fought each other so much, we have actually now let the group behind catch us. Can I get some help on the outside? So we actually... I mean, that is proof that bump drafting works. That is proof that you can work together to get a bump draft. Well, we were curious whether we were going to see many passes around the outside, and we did. It required some teamwork, and I think I'm going to get Chris, actually, on the outside there. I'm surprised I had no help for that one. I'm kind of surprised that that one there did the trick. Uh, we're going to run it. This is kind of such a strange banked corner, because you run in and you look like you're going way too far. I thought I was going too fast there. I thought I was going to hit the wall. Um, but the way the course gets so steeply banked at the top, you actually end up being able to hook the van in and you just go. It's really unnerving, and I'm not sure I'm brave enough to make the most of it. <laughs> As I said, uh, the first round, I love oval racing. I'm not necessarily very good at it, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, I feel like there is definite speed to be made if you are brave enough to chuck the van in and believe that uh, the banking is going to stop it from... Uh, yeah, <laughs> or keep it turned. Stop it from clonking straight into the wall. Uh, we have started pulling a very small gap. It isn't much. And unfortunately, the time it's taken us to clear... Uh, Chris has sort of separated our top three out a bit. If anything, it looks like second might be catching the leader ever so slightly. I mean, there might be a bit of a distant toe going on it. If it, if it is, it's very minimal at this point here. Uh, Hordes has got up to fourth. Uh, might start catching me, depending on what sort of laps we. I mean, I'm not actually doing amazing laps at the moment here, which is a bit of a bit of a problem for me. Oh, <laughs> I'm running very high up the circuit. I don't think I want to do that. I don't know. I'm... <laughs> If anyone's watched, anyone, anyone watching this video who has uh, watched me do oval racing, I am... Um, I very much run at the bottom of an oval, and that's where I'm happy. I don't like running at the top. I feel like maybe at turn one you are faster running up at the top, but I am never very good at running the top of an oval. I don't know if this could hit the wall up at the front there. Might have done. Has certainly lost some ground. Boards is catching me, which is concerning. Yeah, we're not running very quick laps at the moment. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea just to chuck it up at the banking. I don't feel like, oh, that was very close. I don't feel like I'm making lap speed up there somehow. 
I think I'm going to have to resort back now to defending the bottom. Yeah, I'm not making lap speed at all, uh, which is a problem. Gliska must have hit the wall. I was busy panicking because I thought I was crashing. And there is now a battle for the lead. This has been a bloody good race. I wish I was a little faster around here. I wish I was a little better at this. Um, however, we are going to have to defend. So we'll make hordes go the long way around. We've already seen some overtakes around the outside. Hordes might give it a try in towards this uh, first corner. Oh, we're going to have a little bump of doors through there. And Hordes is going to get it done. Yeah, we've got the speed on there. There is definitely a way to make speed up at the top of the course. I just don't, I don't know how to do it. And now Ninetales has got a massive run behind. Uh, can we get, if we can get a toe to hold on to at least fourth. We've got to salvage something. Yeah, I'm just not good. In, I'm not good enough at the first, funnily enough. The corner that actually requires you to do more than just flat out and steer. Uh, I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong and I've not quite got the hang of it. Uh, good race though. I say we're doing something wrong. When we were sat in the draft, we certainly helped. <laughs> helped get Oli Pass. I was really struggling with speed in that one. I was definitely... Admittedly, I guess everyone was at least had someone to draft with for a little while. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't... I couldn't get any speed out of the van. Oh, apparently I got a podium. I didn't get a podium. I was very much fourth. Uh, <laughs> we've been gifted places we didn't deserve. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, Nazvan, that works. That works on, on Horizon 4. It is good fun. As I said, not everyone's a fan of oval racing. Fair enough. Uh, if you are, though, yeah, Nazvan can actually be pretty damn good fun. I wish I could get that first quarter better. But teamwork and essentially, well, pushing others, helping other vehicles get passes completed... Yeah, that genuinely, genuinely is an achievable thing on here, which is always nice to see. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.